Hi class, uh, I'm instructor Ming Jing, and right now I'm going to show you step by step how to create the share of your ePortfolio by using Google Site. Okay, first of all, let's open the web page. And now let's type in google.com. And on this Google page, you will find this more button here and click more you will see sites down here and let's click sites and now the system asks me to sign in before I can create my website so let's sign in and if you already signed in with your Google page uh, with your Google account uh, the system will uh, go to this page automatically and now here on this left corner at this uh, left top corner you will see create a new site button and let's click it now we are on the page uh, where the system asks you to uh, fill, in some, fill in some information about this new uh, site so now let's uh, just go one by one to fill in this information first of all the site name let's say ePortfolio and when you click anywhere on this page after you type in the site name see the URL will show automatically and now let's go to the second item site description let's see my ePortfolio my ePortfolio for W200 okay and for this one mature content Actually, we don't have to uh, click check this one because if you check this one, it means that uh, your web page is only suitable for uh, for adults. So we don't have to check that one. And now let's uh, go to this item share with. Uh, here we you have two choices: whether you have to share, whether you want to share uh, with everyone in the world. Uh, with this a uh, site that means everyone in the world can view this site or you just want some people uh, you specify can view this site and right now I'm going to check this one only people I specify can view this site and here's the site theme here we have like uh, three choices but if you click more themes and we have more choices say schoolhouse this this theme I'd like to choose okay and now the last item type in the code Shay, let's type in the code D I O N R O I and after we type in the code let's create site oh the code is wrong okay another one again Oh, you see that we're still in the create new site information web page. Why is that? That is because um, the site name we have typed in uh, is already be using by others, so it's not available right now. So uh, the system just give us uh, other choices here so we can choose from so I'd like to choose the first one okay you see right now the site name changed and also the URL also changed okay other information uh, have been saved so we don't have to change it and uh, let's click create site again okay right now we are on the page 